Hi, I'm Nancy Cartwright. And I'm Bart Simpson. Who the hell are you? The name of my audiobook is called I'm Still a Ten-Year-Old Boy. Bye, Nancy Cartwright. It's available only on Audible. Hank Azaria once claimed it's difficult to voice a character credibly impersonating another character. Hello? I think it sounds like almost impossible. So Bart trying to do Ralph Wiggum, uh, he would probably sound like, he would probably go like that. I, I just, I don't, I, wow. That's a skill that I, I think Hank is probably right. Well, first of all, it's a mind bender. Trying to do that, like I'm trying to be Bart, but trying to think of like Nelson. Bart trying to think of, here's Bart Simpson trying to do Nelson Mine, and it's kind of a rough, it's kind of a combination. That's, that, that's, that's kind of a facsimile, right? Right? Props? Okay, so this is Bart Simpson as the original James Bond, so this is like Bart as Sean Connery, James Bond. Okay, so it's like, ah, shaken, not stirred. Another thing that I realized is that I can take one character and turn him into many characters by changing where he was born. For example, you know, Bart Simpson sounds like this, but if he was born in the South, like he would sound kind of like that. No, but when he was from England, Bart Simpson would sound a little bit more like this. That was inspired by Dawes Butler. Because Dawes Butler, who did Elroy Jetson, you take that straight, flat American sound of Elroy Jetson and make him from the South, and there you've got Dixie. Like Dixie of Pixie and Dixie. Or you make him from uh, make him from Mexico, and now you've got Baba Louie. It's like these characters, depending upon what accent you want to put on them, you've got two, three, 17, 20 different characters. You know, besides doing some voices for the book, I'm just giving it away right now because you're listening to this, this little teaser. Um, I do some sound effects for the book. But when I was a kid, you know, this was when I was in junior high. It wasn't when I was 10. It was one summer. Oh, there was a guy that was in the summer theater company and he could make the sound of a dripping faucet. And I made it my goal that summer to learn how to do that. And by the end of the summer, I had a little bruise underneath my chin and like on my cheek because I learned how to do this. I use that thing to my advantage because when I was 13 years old, I was in my geography class and I used to drive that teacher nuts by making and doing that. And he's like doing one of these. He never did find out it was me. <laughs> And sadly, we all have a little bit of Bart Simpson in us. It worked though, and I use that. I have used that. Some other sound effects like a, a motorboat. One day, how did I do that? My, my ears were stopped up and I was trying to unstop my ears. So I was going. <coughs> oh, see, I just popped my ear. Right there, I just popped my ear. But that's how I learned to do this motorboat that evolved into this. And that then evolved into a cement mixer. And it helps when you bounce up and down, I'm just saying. The name of my audiobook is called I'm Still a Ten-Year-Old Boy by Nancy Cartwright. It's available only on Audible.